On October 26th, Israel used more than 100 aircraft, including F-35 stealth fighters, to attack Iran. The jets used aerial refueling to cover a distance of more than 1,600 kilometers or 1,000 miles and struck over 20 targets in the operation named Days of Repentance. IAF targeted ballistic missile production facilities, sites deemed to be used for nuclear fuel manufacturing, as well as several air defense systems. Israel's jets just flew unrestricted over Iran, including the capital Tehran, as they owned the sky and all aircraft returned safely, even though several S-300 batteries were present. Iran couldn't do anything, though the strike was very much expected and its military was in a state of heightened alert. While unverified, the F-35 seems to have spearheaded the attacks and has been videographed flying at low altitudes through the Jordanian airspace. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II has been widely debated over since its first flight in 2006. By 2017, delays and cost overruns had pushed the F-35 program's expected acquisition cost to $406.5 billion, with a total lifetime till 2070 cost of $1.5 trillion in then-year dollars which includes operations and maintenance. The fighter had faced many criticisms, like not being as maneuverable as Russian fighters such as the Su-35, and its top speed being limited to Mach 1.6, which is far slower than contemporary fighters like the Eurofighter Typhoon. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the F-35 proved its mettle with Israel's successful strike on Iran. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The Pentagon began the F-35 program in 2001 to develop a cost-effective replacement for the U.S. military's F-15 fighters, F-16 and F-18 fighter bombers and reconnaissance aircraft and A-10 close-in support warplanes. The fighter is set to be the backbone of U.S. air power as well as many allies. The F-35 has three main models, the conventional takeoff and landing F-35A CTOL, the short takeoff and vertical landing F-35B Stovall, and the catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery carrier-based F-35C Kettlebar. F-35, being a fifth-generation fighter, is developed from the ground up to be stealthy. Its external structure is designed to deflect signals away from the emitting radar, which makes it hard to detect, track, and engage. Also, it has a coating of RAM, or radar-absorbing material, that reduces the number of signals getting reflected. The F-35 has the lowest radar cross-section, or RCS, of all the jets except the F-22 Raptor. Against X-band radars, it's stealthy from the front and rear. Against S-band radar, it's stealthy from the narrow front aspect. Against L-band radar, the limited reduction is achieved from the direct front. Secretive techniques have also been used to reduce the heat signature of F-35. This thermal profile management of the jet makes it difficult for infrared or IR homing missiles to target it. Lockheed Martin has been working with the U.S. Department of Defense to improve the capabilities of the aircraft further. For example, Block 4 adds an even more robust radar array called the AN-APG-85. Upgrades to AN-AAQ-37 Electro-Optical Distributed Aperture System DAS, and engine core upgrades ECU, that would increase engines thrust by 10% and 
while improving fuel efficiency by 5%, resulting in 7% increase in range. Israel is the first country outside the US to acquire them and has a customized variant named F-35I Adir. It currently has 36 F-35s operated by three squadrons at Navitim Air Base, the 140th, 116th, and 117th, and has plans to acquire around 75 of these. Israel has maintained that the Lockheed Martin F-35 is a game-changer. Iran's prized Russian-made S-300 air defense systems were intended to protect its strategic sites and enhance its defensive posture. It was deemed essential to counterbalance the sophisticated American-made fighter jets and air defense systems of neighboring Gulf nations like Saudi Arabia. The acquisition journey began in 2007 when Tehran signed an $800 million contract with Moscow to procure these advanced defense systems. However, the deal stalled in 2010 after the Kremlin froze the contract due to United Nations sanctions on Iran. In 2015, Russian President Vladimir Putin finally approved the sale. Tehran acquired the S-300 PMU-2 model, one of the more advanced versions known to NATO as the SA-20B gargoyle. Starting in 2016, Iran has received four of these modernized systems. Each S-300 battery comprises a battle management system, multiple launchers, and multiple radar systems working in different bands. S-300 is no joke. The Ukrainian military, which had acquired several Soviet-era variants of the S-300 and its predecessor, the S-200, has used those to knock out frontline Russian fighters. This shows their versatility, since Russians know the S-300 inside and out and still incurred losses. As per the latest reports, IAF has neutralized all the S-300 batteries, and there's no doubt the stealthy F-35s have played a crucial role in this. The Institute for the Study of War, or ISW, a US-based think tank, corroborated these assessments, confirming that Israel struck three to four S-300 air defense sites, including one positioned at the strategically important Imam Khomeini International Airport. S-300 could neither defend the assets it was supposed to protect, nor could it defend itself. While this is an incredible achievement for IAF, it was in the cards. Israel was the first country in the world to carry out an operational attack using F-35 when it struck several Iranian targets in Iraq twice in 2018. Not only this, as reported by the Kuwaiti Al Jarida newspaper, two F-35I Adir jets flew undetected over Syria and Iraq and were able to sneak into Iranian airspace without being detected indicating that Iran had neither anything that could track it or engage it. The pair reportedly flew at a high altitude above sites suspected of being connected to Iran's nuclear program along the Persian Gulf Coast. They carried out reconnaissance missions over the Iranian cities, Bandar Abbas, Asfahan, and Shiraz. The source told the newspaper that two F-35s evaded detection by all the radar systems installed in the region, including advanced Russian radar systems. While armchair experts have doubted the aircraft, militaries of more than 15 countries apart from the US are acquiring the F-35 after independent evaluation. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.